come back. Well, the story of this fight, is it going to be the youth of Cloud and the energy and the athleticism that goes along with the youth? Or is it going to be the experience and the kind of frustrating high guard of Johnson? And one of the reasons this fight is so interesting on paper, and it's panning out that way, is it's tough to see how this story ends. Johnson is just a pro. You know, he's just Big, a real step. professional. Has, step, he, very good. has very he ever good. been the greatest at any point during his career? No. But he's the kind of guy that's given you, since we're in St. Louis and it's a big baseball town, he's the kind of guy that gives you 15 years and hits 285 and knocks. And wins one MVP because he did win the fighter of the year several years right. back. And he has that one big year. You know, he's going to get you 26 homers <laughs> and 90 RBIs every year. These, you know, and the, the contrast in style, not only the youth and the age, but what goes along with that. Johnson always talks about how it's a job. He's a professional. And Tavares Cloud talks, it's more than a job. It's passion. It's, it's about wanting to go to war. Good stiff jab there from Cloud. Snap back the head of Johnson. Puffing right from Cloud. Caught most of Johnson's glove. A little combination and a chopping right from Glenn Johnson. And aside from the obvious effect of the, that the right hand can have on Cloud, it looks like his eye is starting to, I don't know, the beginnings of a, of a swollen left eye. Bud. August 11th, it's the premiere of Hard Knocks, training Listen, camp with the New York Jets. Go behind the scenes for anyway. five weeks of training camp with Rex Ryan's Jets as they prepare catch for the NFL through. season. On August 17th, catch Listen, the next installment of Real Sports with Brian yeah, Gumbel. Right? Among the stories, a fascinating no profile of Washington's right, newest power couple, so the Salahis, the alleged stop, White House crashers, who we'll also organize an annual charity and polo remember, event. To pick it up at the end of the round just in case. Okay. They're looking to give somebody an early Christmas. Yeah. Good work, baby. All right, champ, you got, this. you got this. Stay on him, baby. Stay on him. Oh, here, take it down. Yeah. Round number four begins in the last round. Glenn Johnson threw 62 jabs. This is this not only through 51 punches in the whole round. This is living up to that early 1980s network light heavyweight tradition. Back then, the division was stacked, and those guys were battling it out every weekend on TV, it seemed. And so far, this fight is doing justice to that light heavyweight legacy. Johnson keeps pumping out that jab, and even though it's not landing, what it's doing is it's stopping the offensive cloud. And it's landing. <laughs> it's, it's doing both. Even when it's not, it, it still has an effect, but some of those are getting through. And as you would expect with a, with a savvy veteran against a, 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 an enthusiastic young fighter, it seems like Cloud expends more energy than Johnson to get the same result. That's youth. This all plays into Johnson's hands, so these languishing moments on the inside where then Johnson can do his work. You know, in the win against Clinton Woods, Cloud was averaging 97 punches thrown per round. It's well below that because Johnson's busier and keeping him on the defensive. And, and, and he is also landing good shots, Cloud. What I love about this round so far, it's sort of a quiet round. They're both landing good, crisp, hard punches on the inside, and they don't stop. 
See Cloud trying to get a little distance to get some snap on that right hand from the outside. Trying to set up that counter right hand that he thumped again. You see he has some success when he can throw the punches from his preferred range, but then Johnson takes that range away. But in what was, as you said, a quiet round here in the last yeah, minute, it's out, Cloud that's out. had the way with it. Yeah, and, and the work off, that man. Johnson was doing was less obvious early on than the big kind of more looping punches from the outside that Cloud just landed. And of round number four, coming up our main event, 23 years of age. The great Devin Alexander puts his two 140-pound belts on the line in his hometown of St. Louis, 20-0, with 13 knockouts. He'll be squaring off against a man who once held one of those belts, Andre Kotelnik of the Ukraine, 31-3, 13 knockouts, coming off a loss last summer in England to Amir Khan. It's Alexander Kotelnik in our main event here on Boxing After Dark. Come on. Give me the end swell. Good job, Jack. Work Let's hard. go. Work hard, baby. Work hard. You see the Jersey Joe when you walked off? Mm -hmm. yeah. Come back with a hook after that right hand. Give me some Vaseline. Hey, three, four minutes. Work me in three minutes. All right, put him on that world class jab and dig to the body. The body. Round number five underway, scheduled for 12. You gotta clear, corner, you gotta clear. Come on, come on. Steve Smoger getting the Johnson corner organized. Johnson in the white. Tiger strikes for Tavares Cloud. Currently holds a belt at 175 pounds. Johnson trying to take it from him. I heard Cloud corner mentioning, give him the Jersey Joe. The great heavyweight champion, Jersey Joe Walcott had these cute moves he'd walk away look as though he's walking away from a fighter and then throw a left hook or a, or, or a sneaky right hand but so far cloud doesn't seem very jersey joe and tricky to me he seems more matthew Saad muhammad yeah and he and he's fighting marvin johnson here these are those are two of the action brawlers from the early 80s in this division Johnson works that jab. Limiting Cloud to just one counter. Good counter left by Cloud. On the line here for Cloud is a potential big fight in the light heavyweight division with the winner of Chad Dawson and Jean Pascal next week here on HBO. If, if Dawson wins and he's favored to, although it's a tough, tough fight, Cloud becomes the obvious opponent for Dawson, the division kingpin, should he win tonight. Cloud with multiple lefts, some of them blocked by Johnson. Johnson has not been able to find the same kind of space that he had back in round two. Exactly right, Bob. And and, theref and therefore, those little lefts and rights he's digging are not landing with any impact. Oh, right hand and a left hurt Johnson. And he's hurt. He is hurt. He's on shaky legs. And Cloud goes right to the body with a left hand. Very good idea. Land Johnson in trouble. Half minute to go here in the round. Johnson's only been stopped once. Did Cloud make it twice? And that was before Glenn Johnson was really Glenn Johnson. He was fighting in a lighter weight division. He was facing Bernard Hopkins, the great Bernard Hopkins, and he wasn't ready for that fight. Counter right hand from Cloud. Hurt Johnson again.